So hey, welcome to part 3 of this full customization tutorial for the HTC G2 Vision or HTC Desire Z. And in this part, I'm going to be outlining and walking you through how to install a custom ROM onto your phone as well as how to overclock the phone and stuff like that. So I'm going to be um, doing this or demoing this on the Max Droid ROM. It's probably like one of the better ROMs, one of the best ROMs that I've found for HTC G2. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to the Android Market. Let's wait for that to load. Okay, we're going to say search. And we're going to type in ROM, M-A-N-A-G-E-R, ROM Manager. My typing skills, okay. Raw manager, and you can just get the free one, no need to pay for like premium. Just get the free one, and then well, I have to update it, but you're gonna install it. So, we're gonna go back to home, and then once it's done installing, you can either access it through your notification bar successfully installed or go to your app launcher and navigate down to the raw manager it should be right here and once that's good we're gonna say okay we're gonna say okay and then what you're going to do is flash select the first option which is the flash to clockwork mod recovery and select your phone mo phone model HTC G2 and allow for the super permissions super user permissions. So we're going to say OK and then you should be good for this this part. So now what we're going to do is let's connect your phone to the computer. We're going to go ahead and do that, connect it and then go to your notification bar and select the USB connected that um, rectangle on the notification bar and we're going to turn on USB storage again say OK OK so now what we're going to do is open folder to view files and what I did was I created a folder called ROMs kernels um, like you can create oh, I don't think you saw that um, but here it is. If you go back, created a folder called ROMs and kernels. But um, you can name it whatever you want. Just remember, again, like last time, that you know where that folder is, you know what the name is, etc. Obviously, things like that. So let's minimize that for now. And I'll have the link to this ROM in the video description. But what we're going to do is from here, we're going to scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and right here, we're gonna select the download the Mexperia or the Mexdroid mod Mexperia Remix. That's the ROM, and you can click on any one of the links. They're all the same. So you're gonna download that, and it'll say like processing download request. It'll take a while to download. Once it's downloaded, uh, make sure you know where that is. And then after that, we're going to download the X apps. All right, we're good with that. Shouldn't take that long to download. OK, and then after that, what we're going to do is go to this website called filecrop.com. All right, so let's go to filecrop. And we're going to click on the first link, file crop, and search for Android Market APK. And what we're going to do is click on the first one and just download it. This is pretty much um, it. So let's find a download link for that. And it should be a mega upload one. Just download that. Okay. 
Okay, once you have all the files downloaded, what we're going to do is navigate to the removable disk D. Now, pop-up should have came up as to whether or not you wanted your phone. Okay, um, never mind. Just like forget what I said. But um, you want to navigate to your phone storage on a computer. So let's go to that folder that we created, the ROMs, the kernels. And I created another folder inside of that just to organize things. But just make sure you know where your files are. But we're going to take from what we downloaded. Let's go back over here. The files that we downloaded, I said show in folder. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop. Um, the Mexperia ROM, first of all, so you'll have that, and the X apps. So as you can see, I have the Mexperia ROM. Don't worry about this first file over here, uh, but we have the Mexperia ROM, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the X apps. There we go. Make sure you know where they are in the file system. So for me. Um, this is the root of the SD card, and I created a folder called ROMs Kernels. And I created another folder within that, and here are my ROMs. I know where they are. Okay, once that's done, um, you want to take the, the market APK that we downloaded before. So let's go to that link again, the Mega Upload. I'm just going to regular download it. Okay, and it should come up pretty quickly. And under, this is the downloads folder, that's where everything I download from the internet is contained. So that's why I can find the market APK, everything that I downloaded again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, sorry, let's navigate up. I'm going to drag and drop that to the APK folder that I um, created earlier. Remember for the visionary app, created it for that. So just to make things more organized, I'm going to go to androidmarket.apk and drag and drop it to that folder. I mean, the folders that I created in this tutorial are just like for my sake, for organization's sake, but you can put these files anywhere on your SD card that you want. It could be in the root of the SD card, it can be in a folder, just as long as you know where they are. It's very important that you know how to get to those files. So just making that clear. Once you have that all said and done, what we're going to do now is minimize, not maximize, but minimize these folders and get started. From here on out, pretty much all you need is your phone. So let's you can unplug this, turn off USB storage, unplug it from the computer, and all right, we're ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is go back to the ROM manager. And we already flashed the clockwork mod recovery, so what we're going to do now is reboot into recovery mode. And say OK. OK, once that's done, we're going to select using the volume down buttons and using the trackpad. You can use either one. Trackpad works, but I like the volume up and down buttons. So we're going to select the wipe data factory reset. It's the third option on the list. We're going to say OK with the trackpad. Scroll all the way down to the yes option, and then press OK with the trackpad again. And then we're going to be wiping all the data. All right, and then I'll get back to you once that is done. All right, so as you can see in the progress below, you can tell that the process has been done. So after that, we're going to wipe. We're going to go to Advanced. It's the last option on the list. Select OK with the trackpad. We're going to wipe the Dalvik cache. And scroll down to the Yes option. Select with the trackpad. And should have said, like, if you don't have the EXT partitions, OK, just don't worry about it. Select that and it should be pretty fast 
And afterwards, we're going to scroll down to the third option, which is white battery stats. And scroll down to the yes option. And something might happen, and or something might not happen. For my case, nothing happened. So either way works. It's just like precaution to do. So we're going to navigate backwards by um, pressing the back button on this. And then what we're going to do now is scroll down to the fifth option on the list. And that is to install the zip from the SD card. Select with the trackpad. And then to the second option on the list, which is choose zip from SD card. Select. And then this is when I said it is very important that you know where you stored all these files. So what we're going to do now is scroll down to where you stored your ROM. So for me, it was in the ROMs kernels folder, and then in the Maxperia folder, select that. And then I'm going to scroll down to my, um, sorry, I'm blanking out, to the ROM that I downloaded. So right here, select that, and then scroll down to the yes option and select install. And it should take a little while to install your ROM, so be patient, and I'll get back to you guys after it's done. Alright, so it looks like the ROM is done installing, so what we're going to do now is scroll down to the second option on the list, and that is to choose the zip from the SD card. Select that, and then again, navigate to where you stored your X apps. So for me, it was in the ROM's kernels folder, which by the name is named ROM. K E R N A L S, in case you were wondering. And then I have it in the Mexperia folder. And then scroll down to where you have your apps, xapps.zip. And then we're going to select that one and go ahead and select yes. And then those apps should be installing. These are your Google apps because the ROM doesn't come with it. So it'll be able to install that and then once that's done we're gonna navigate back and then reboot system now alright and then wait for this to reboot first boot might take a little longer so just be patient and I'll get back to you guys when it's done 